they tend to have, um, they're grouchy in the morning. So they're <laughs> irritable in the morning. Don't talk to these people in the morning. But in the evening, they're very pleasant to be around. They crave deep fried foods. This body shape craves salty foods, like uh, potato chips, uh, popcorn, pretzels, uh, peanuts. These people, potato chips, deep fried catfish, French onion fries. rings, french fries. They love that deep fried. Um, it, when you, someone comes in like this, it's the worst thing you could feed these people. Fatty foods or heavy proteins, they can't tolerate it. So um, they tend to have a lot of weight. You see these guys at the gym doing the sit-ups and exercise. Exercise doesn't usually help this body shape because it's water weight. How, when you, you've looked at all these body shapes, and the reality is that people have come into you over, you've been doing this for how many years now? Uh, about 18 years. And so when people come in, you obviously say, okay, this is what you look like. Here are the different symptoms you've had. Has this just been building basically from evidence from all the people that you've interviewed and worked with over the years that has helped you determine? Yeah, this has evolved. I, I the symptoms? I've, yeah. I, I've, I've evolved as far as the classification of these problems. I've trained over a thousand doctors on this technique and the, the strategic um, advice that we give people. But uh, what we found is something very interesting. You've probably heard that uh, you need to lose weight to be healthier, right? Because obesity is a killer, like diabetes and arthritis and, and all these other problems, right? More than ever you hear that on the news because we have more and more Americans who are not only overweight but hitting the obesity category. Exactly. I found my own observation, this is my own opinion, I think it's, that's absolutely not true. It's actually just the opposite. You have to be healthy before you can lose weight. In other words, your body is unhealthy and that's why it's holding the weight. What we do is we have a different goal. We get the person healthy, then the weight comes off. I'll just tell you a quick story. I had a patient, she's 25 years old, she weighed about 300 and 60 pounds. She came to see me. She was desperate. She was lonely. She wanted to lose weight. So um, she wanted help. So I put her on the program for one, the first month. Take a while guess how much weight that she lost in the first month. Three hundred. I'm going to guess she, I don't know, 25 pounds? Zero. Zero weight. She did everything like I told her. She lost zero weight. However, what happened was her energy was, was sky high. She was sleeping better. She was walking with a flight of stairs and her legs were stronger. Her fluid was better in her ankles. She was smaller in size. So she was getting healthier, but she wasn't losing the weight. The second month, she lost 21 pounds. The third month, she lost 65 pounds of weight. Wow. So what I found is something very powerful. The person will lose weight in the direct ratio as they get healthy. So what we do with people is we focus on the health. Instead of trying to lose weight, because anyone can lose a couple pounds, they can lose water weight, but how do you get them in the fat burning and, and keep it off so to the point where they're stabilized? Well, and I'm guessing you have a lot of people come in who don't want to, don't tell me about this, don't tell me about that, just help me lose 50 pounds. I want to fit into this. I've got a wedding coming up in this many months. I mean, I'm sure you get a lot, because it's a reverse way of thinking. People think, no, I have to lose weight to get healthy. And you're really saying it's exactly the opposite. Weight is a symptom. It's a symptom of something else. You have to evaluate. You cannot be fat and healthy at the same time. And so what we do is once you get healthy, the weight comes off as a side effect, as a benefit. So it's very, very um, a great program because you end up with a healthy body and the weight loss. And one of the reasons why people cannot keep the weight off is because they've never completed the healing of the body. They lost a couple pounds and then they, it comes right back. So we have a completely different angle. I, I want to get into how people can now take this information and, and do something about it. But before I get there, let me ask you, what about all the different fads and diets that are out there these days? Uh, everything from don't eat carbohydrates to you know just stick on protein to maybe if you just were living in France, you wouldn't be fat. Right. I mean, there's all sorts of books and ideas. How do you address those? I mean, why is it that Americans are having such problems with weight? There are more conflicting pieces of information out there on weight loss than any other subject. And uh, there's 12 big confusions that people have. Um, I don't really have time to get into all of them, but I will tell you that the strategy that we use is we tend to take you an individual tailor-make program and give you exactly what your body needs because different bodies need different diets. You can't put everyone in the same exercise program. Why? Because if you have a certain body shape and they exercise too much, it's not going to work. You're going to put more stress into the body. So be, or they're already stressed out. 
So there's one very specific thing that I found related to hormones, and this is my own observation, and that is in Europe, people are thinner than Americans. In America, we use um, hormones to fatten chickens, cattle, turkeys, butterball turkeys, Thanksgiving, um, farm-fed fish. And I know these hormones do have influence on our body because young girls in America are getting um, larger breasts. They're going through their menstrual cycles earlier and earlier. That's a function of, of estrogen. So if we're being exposed to these estrogens, it could be that they're going in our bodies and are affecting our bodies. I mean, if it causes a turkey to become butterball size, is it possible it can make a butterball turkey out of you? <laughs> because it tends to bloat out our bodies. So, so again, it's the hormone factor. That's my own opinion, and I think that's true. Because in, when people in Europe, when they move to America, they get fat, they go back home, they get skinny. So, so what you, what you want to do is bring people in and say, let me evaluate, let me look at you, here's your body type, tell me how you eat, Tell me how many hours of sleep you get. Do you exercise? I mean, are these are the types of questions that you do when you give someone an evaluation. Yeah, and, and this is the missing piece. It's an extra step that most people don't do. They jump right into the solution of exercise and diet, but they don't evaluate to find out what is the person's problem? What type of exercise they're doing? What's the intensity? What's the duration? What's the rest periods? All these things, if you do it correctly, you can really trigger and influence the fat-burning hormones as compared to not. So there's a right way to do it and a wrong way. We give people the right way. And I feel like I've lost fat. In fact, I can see that I've lost fat. Instead of just losing weight, I am getting rid of some of this pudginess around the middle section, and I feel very good about it. It's like finally, after 20 years of just doing nothing but gaining weight, finally you're able to get some of it off. Um, the clothes fit better. Uh, you have more energy, you just have a better outlook on life, and you just have that psychological high of, you know, finally something's being done. And the fact that my, <laughs> that my, what my wife referred to as my Buddha belly disappeared was enough for suddenly to make me just jump for joy as it was. And, that's, and nothing else had worked that well or that fast in my life. I do sleep a lot better. Sleep was an issue for me, and uh, I am sleeping through the night. I wake up two or three times, but I'm able to get back to sleep now, which for 15 years I had not been able to sleep but maybe four or five hours a night. You can get a free consultation to analyze your current eating, exercise, and sleeping habits so you can take the guesswork out of the correct diet to handle your weight problems. If you want to fit into your clothes better or get a good night's sleep, don't we all want that? If you want to have less fatigue that affects your daily functions, you should take advantage of this free consultation. You can do that by calling this number. Dr. Burke, what else should people know about this free consultation? Yeah, and I just want to remind everyone that we're not diagnosing medical diseases or hormones. We don't evaluate hormone imbalances. We don't treat medical conditions. What we do is we use a natural method of, of giving people strategic help to make weight loss easier for them. And we do a consultation, and uh, we want to listen to the person and get to the bottom of it to make it easier for them as compared to being a struggle to go uphill like this. We want to just have them do it and be successful so then they can reach their goals. It's, it's amazing. Um, it makes sense. Everyone in the office here is, uh, they seem to be very passionate about what they do. Um, they're very helpful. It's just been a very positive experience for me and I notice other people are feeling the same way that I meet here in the office. I have kind of these tools now that I can go with for the rest of my life. I know how I should eat and why I should eat that way and what works for me. Remember, different body types need different solutions. Call now for a free consultation. Get to the source of the problem. Get healthy, then lose weight.